I'm so excited. Welcome back, Makeup Family. We've got the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. It just came in the mail, and I'm going to do some live swatches for you and give you my first impressions of this gorgeous palette. But first, can we appreciate how awesomely um, <laughs> Sephora packed this palette? My last Natasha Denona palette was totally busted up. It was from Beautylish, though, but it was packed. It, it was packed. It looked nice, like it was packed nicely, but this is a whole nother level. The shadows are a little bit soft and they do have a tendency towards breaking in transit. So um, I'm just opening mine now. So let's hope that this um, extra careful pack in, this is cool. So this is what the actual box was wrapped in. So let's hope that the gorgeous, oh, and it's, it's forest green. Ah, so excited. <laughs> so this is the Metropolis palette just landed on my doorstep oh this is so girl why is it this beautiful forest green like vinyl latex how beautiful is that oh, i'm getting excited because i don't think it's going to be broken oh, this is super cute oh my gosh Oh, this is pretty. She's beautiful. She's got a lot of colors. 28 colors. That's beautiful. Oh, all right now. So let's get started. Oh, this is just really beautiful. So I'm gonna do it row by row on the back of my arm live swatches and let's just swatch it out and see what she's looking like <gasps> this is just this packaging is stunning and i love me a green vibe i cannot wait <laughs> to use her okay i'm gonna start in like i always do in this upper uh my left hand corner and let's see this is called rust and it looks like a very orangey shimmer. Rust. I guess I'll start here. Rust. That is beautiful. That is a really pretty orangey shimmer. Next up, we've got this gorgeous, like, army green sh shimmer called Troop. Oh, that's like a dirty, oh wow, is that even a, wow, that's an interesting texture. It's not really a shimmer, it's more like a satin. It's not a matte, but it's definitely not a shimmer. It's like a satin, army green. That is just stunning. That is called Troop. Next up we have Orium which is this really, I don't know, this looks like a, a champagne-y gold. Let's see. It looks very different on the skin. See that one? Orium, let's try again. It has some kind of a, a shift to it. It has like a green and gold shift to it. You can see it there, Orium. It's like a gold with a green shift. That's beautiful. I'm usually not a fan of Natasha Denona shimmers, but this palette was so beautiful, I had to try. The next up we've got Shield, and it looks like a greenish bronze. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, Lord, that's a beautiful olive shimmer with gold reflect. That is stunning. That's called Shield. That is beautiful. Next up on this top row, we've got this really beautiful, vibrant orange. Let's swatch her again. There we go. And she's called Ripe. And 
that is a beautiful like tomato color. That is so pretty. Like a ripe tomato. That's beautiful. That looks so pretty with the green too. Ripe. Okay, we've got stain. This looks like an orangish brown. And it's also a satin. You know, there's some really interesting uh, textures. Yeah, it looks sort of like a yellow based orangey brown. That's really beautiful. That is really, really pretty. It's called Stain. And it appears to have like a satin finish to it. The last one in this row is called Mace. And I'm not even gonna try to guess what it is because it seems to look different in the pan than it does on the skin. That's beautiful. That's a really warm, bronzy color. Ooh, so far so good. This is very similar, I think, in terms of its color story to the Safari palette. This makes me actually wanna get the Safari palette to have all the mattes that cor correspond to all these shimmers. There are lots of shimmers in this palette. And that was one of the reasons why I started not to get it, but I really do love it. I usually am not a fan of Natasha Denona's shimmer formula, but am in love with like the mattes and the satins. Um, and some of the things that I assumed were gonna be shimmers in here are not. Like, um, like this color here is a satin called Troop and it is gorgeous. And then this color Stain down here is also like a satin. And I really love the pigmentation on those. Okay, second row. This is like a gorgeous, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off and do the second row. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do them next to each other. Try to get as many um, next to each other as possible so that you can see how the palette might play together. This one's very close to my skin tone. This is the first one in the second row and it's just like a yellowy, like a dirty yellow sort of matte. Would be a great transition shade. And it is called Rope. Next up, we've got this really bright shimmer. Look at that. Um, ooh, that is a gold, honey. That's a green gold. That is really, really, very pretty. Rope. Next up, we've got this really pretty green. I would want to say it's a forest green, but that's not so much a forest green. That is super beautiful, let's see. It looks like a really nice mid-tone green, and it is. That's really pretty. It's more like an avocado color, and it's a matte. But it's like a sort of a, a satiny matte. Beautiful. I am so pleasantly surprised. That avocado color is everything. I am so pleasantly surprised by the textures and this and the different formulas in this palette already. I'm so relieved that it's not a bunch of shimmers like it appeared to be, even though I still bought it anyway because I just thought the color scheme was so gorgeous and I cannot resist a good green. That is super pretty. That's called Lethal, by the way. This is called Lethal. And this bright orangey gold is called Fuse. Um, this is called Penny and it looks like it's a bright coppery shimmer. It's called Penny. Penny. And it looks like Penny. It looks just like a brighter, better <laughs> formulated version of this one right here called Fuse. I don't think that uh, this palette needed both of those. Penny. Duh, it looks like a new penny. And we've got 
Chrism. Chrism. That's an interesting name. Chrism. It's really pretty. I don't want to give you the finger, but it's like an orangey satin. It just looks like a lighter version of maybe this. It's very pretty though. And it's a satin finish. Chrism. Then we've got this gorgeous blue. I'm not really sure how the how the palette is like really supposed to be organized. It just looks like a bunch of beautiful colors, but you know, not really organized in a way that's like, oh that okay, this is organized in quads or this is organized. I can't really figure out yet how it's organized. This is a beautiful blue. That's a beautiful, beautiful blue. And you can see the, the reflect on that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a really beautiful turquoise blue. And then the final one in this row is called Queen. Queen. And that looks like kind of a lackluster shimmer, but it is, in fairness, it's close to my skin tone. But I'm not getting a lot out of that. I'm not getting a lot out of Queen. And that's, you know, the sort of issue that I typically have. I'm gonna wipe these off and we're gonna get to the last two rows. I'm just gonna try this last color in the row one more time just to see if it was just getting close to the end of my arm or what was really going on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's like a just a yellow shimmer. It, it just has more of a sheen to the skin. It doesn't have a lot to it in terms of the color. So now we're gonna do these final two rows, these two rows here. All right, the first one again looks like this is like the copper palette, like the gold palette. We had all those different like golds with subtle variations. This is this this palette should probably be called the copper palette instead of the green or let's metropolis. It has so many colors that look like money and copper, copper pennies. Um, but this one is called Blaze. Blaze. And it's another color that's like an orangey bronze that looks like a penny, another penny color. Next up we've got Noble, which looks like a taupey maybe a green based bronze yeah looks like a green shimmer yeah that's pretty it looks like an olive shimmer really pretty again that's called noble then we've got imperia which looks like a bright gold like a bright uh, greenish gold or lime green gold imperia imperia that's pretty Next up, we've got this beautiful, deep, dark green that appears to be a similar color to the packaging, this beautiful, beautiful, deep forest green. It's called Royal. And she is deep, like a beautiful, deep forest green. Oh yeah. Royal. 
tile. Green and gold. That's always so pretty to me. That's really, really pretty. Okay, next up we've got Crest. This looks like a pink take on a copper penny. Crest. And it is. That's a, a, a perfect description of it. A pink take on a copper penny. Crest. We've got this really dark color called Enigma. It looks black in the pan, but it's a blue. Ooh. It is a beautiful peacock, green blue. That is stunning. That is called Enigma. Enigma. Then the final color in the row is like a really kind of, let's see, pure is the name of it. And this is what she looks like on the finger. And it's called pure. And it looks like a really reddish brown. Reddish brown, pure. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, so pretty. I'm really glad I got this palette. This is gorgeous. I cannot wait. All right, we're on the final row. So far, I'm pretty happy with the formulation. I haven't really seen any colors that really like bother me yet in terms of how they, you know, swatched. This is called Azong. Azoic, maybe. Glasses would be nice. Azog. Oh, and that's just a beautiful deep taupe brown. That is gorgeous for deepening up the outer corner. I love that color. I like a nice cool tone brown. And it is, it's like a baby poop cool tone brown. I actually like that color a lot. Next up, we've got this really beautiful shimmery uh, turquoise. Ooh, that's pretty. That's called Jubilee. That is really pretty. That's like a deep, foresty sort of peacock. Oh, that's gorgeous. Jubilee. Then there's another deep, inky color called Symbol. And on the finger, it looks like that. It looks like a navy blue symbol. Oh, it's not. It's like the, the most gorgeous peacock turquoise green you can imagine. That is really pretty. And next to it is like a buttercup yellow gold that is a matte. And it is called Rhizome. Rhizome. Try again, see if I can get it to show up on my skin. There we go, Rhizome. It's just a beautiful, kind of yellow, dirty green, dirty yellow kind of color, really pretty. This also is reminding me a lot right now of the gold palette, and I will show you that too. Next up, we've got Claret, which is a really pretty red shimmer. That's beautiful. That's like a really pretty red shimmer. Claret. Then we got another one of those copper penny colors called Helena. An orange copper penny sort of. That's Helena. Like a peach shimmer it looks like. Helena. 
And finally, we have a brown that is called Antique. Ooh, that's pretty. And it's like a satiny brown. That's really, really beautiful. I love that. I like the formula on these. There are actually so many colors that are not sh actual shimmers. I mean, so now I'm looking and I'm thinking the actual shimmers are only three, four, five, six, seven. There are only like 10 or 11 actual shimmer shimmers in here. Everything else are sort of mattes and satins, which is my favorite formula from Natasha Denona. These are really vibrant and pretty. I look forward to using these. This is gorgeous. And I'm so glad that uh, Sephora packed it the way that they did because nothing got broken. And that is very unusual with uh, Natasha Denona palettes these days because my, um, my gold palette got wrecked completely. I'm still trying to repair it. I'm bad at like putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more time this gorgeous palette. This is again the Metropolis. And she is gorgeous. And only the the ones that are obvious shimmers really are in fact shimmers. I mean just deck one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. They're 14 shimmers out of the 28. So everything else is like a matte or a satin. And that is just a beautiful palette. This is the Metropolis palette. And I just wanted to show it to you and give you some live swatches. Again, this is the beautiful. See, these are the. Let's see if I can disabuse myself of these horrible. Uh, fingerprints but it's really really a gorgeous palette I cannot wait to do some looks with this because green is my jam it screams fall and it has like all the pops of color in it and I don't see a color yet that I swatched there was maybe one shimmer or two shimmers that were a little bit like mmm that looks a little sheer but um, you really have to see what it looks like on the eyes but this is a great, this seems like this is gonna be a really great fall palette. I can't wait to use it. And it's the Metropolis palette. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you on the very next one. Thank you.